Hello everyone, this is Rohit Shrestha. Today I'm going to show you how to deploy your web app using Azure Portal. So, first of all, let's log in to the Azure Portal. You can go to Azure Portal from portal.azure.com and sign in with your credential. As you can see, uh, this is the Azure Portal dashboard where on the left you can see different app services that is pinned. Uh, so uh, to create a new services, you can go to new. And uh, here you can see the different app service that the Azure Cloud provides. So for our demo purpose, we'll be creating a web app. So web app can be found on a web plus mobile. And you can choose a web application. So uh, let's uh, configure our web application. So let's give, first of all, a unique name. So I'll be giving full cloud. Uh, it's a unique name and you can choose the su which subscription you are using and also can create a new resource group or you can use existing resource group so now uh, let's uh, use a uh, existing resource group uh, I'll be using my resource group and uh, as you can see here is the app service plan app service plan is the uh, configuration that uh, you required to actually run your web application it's a different uh, different hardware configuration where uh, you'll be seeing a premium standard and basic and free and shared uh, hardware resources so as you can see here are the uh, upper upper top um, portion you can see there are uh, different hardware configuration and uh, on the button you can see here are the uh, list hardware configuration so for our demo uh, purpose we'll be using a uh, free application or free uh, price tier and let's give uh, it a name Okay, now uh, uh, let's uh, create our web application. As you can see, it is validating. So now uh, the deployment has been started. As you can see, it is deploying my uh, web application. So uh, let's uh, move back to the Visual Studio and create a new website you can create a new website on file new project and underneath uh, here you can choose your web application and let's give a name full cloud full cloud and now let's select ok and it will prompt me to choose my template so I'll be using MVC and choose authentication authentication to individual user accounts so now let's uh, create our web application let's go back to the portal uh, as you can see my web app has been already been deployed Here you can see on the right uh, different option to uh, modify your web application. Uh, here you can see uh, there is a web, uh, there's a, um, a custom domain, and you can scale up your web application. You can scale out your web application. You can uh, uh, 
give the web application SS, SSL certification etc so uh, let's uh, go to the physics tree and see if my project has been created it is creating so uh, to deploy our web application all you need to do is just a uh, get uh, get published profile so let's click on that and uh, let's save this profile okay uh, it's uh, it has saved my published profile so now let's copy this published profile oh no uh, I don't think I need to copy this okay here are some other published file okay so this is the published file I'll be using to deploy our web app using Visual Studio so my web app is almost ready So as you can see my web uh, app has been uh, ready for use. Now let's run our application for once. It's uh, building. So as you can see my uh, web app on the local machine is running So uh, here is my uh, application. So let's deploy this to Azure portal. So as you uh, as you can see here on my Azure portal, if you click on this link, uh, you will navigate to portal. As you can see here, the page is empty right now. So let's deploy our code to the portal. So let's come back to the Visual Studio and select our project and right click on the project. And select publish as you can see here are the different uh, options to publish your web app so today we'll uh, publish our web app using import profile uh, select that input profile and select publish and you'll prompt uh, where the import file is so let's go to download I just get uh, my published profile there here is my published profile and let's click on open so now uh, it will uh, publish my web application to Azure portal so it will take a while so I'll pause my video and come back when it is done so as you can see my publish has been uh, successfully completed so let's go to browser once one more time and let's go here and refresh this page and you can see my web ha app has been already been deployed to the Azure portal. So in this way, you can deploy your web app using Publish pro Profile.